Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And uh, today I just realized it is the new moon, new moon in Aquarius today. So I thought I'm going to pull from the Moonology deck then to say, okay, what do we need to know about this new moon? How is this new moon going to help? the twins come into their connection and um, I've just been for a walk and I started listening to a um, a uh, podcast with um, Russell Brand who's this UK um, comedian but also has gone on this spiritual very much so on a spiritual journey and um, anyway this random podcast I was just listening I just picked any of them and um, straight away he starts talking about twins and then somebody else starts talking about, not twin flames, but just references to twins all the way through it. And uh, so it was just like the twin energy is just, it's bombarding, isn't it? It's because the twin energy needs to be grounded into this beautiful planet. It is needed. The time is now. And the twin energy is uh, happening through each and every one of us who are awakened to their twin flame path. So how is the moon going to help us? Because for sure it will. So what's it going to do for the twins? So let's have a look what it is. And it is communicate. Oh, it's Gemini. <laughs> oh, crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, uh, just too much. And I opened it on the page as well. That's insane. Ah, uh, brilliant. Okay, so there's... Oh, I've got shivers. So a successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the centre of your question. Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. <laughs> if you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages and all other forms of communication will, will also help you now. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or a neighbour, there's a new start coming. A time to wipe the slate clean and start over again. This card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. So it's time to tell somebody how you feel. Don't be all in your head and not in your heart. Someone is flirting with you and read more books. <laughs> so the teaching of the card is Gemini is the sign of communication and socializing of ideas and travel and the energy around it and around this card, no matter when you pull it, is speedy, gossipy and flirtatious. The new moon in Gemini is a wonderful time to get out and socialize. Gemini's love to chat. One thing to be aware of is that this card can also indicate being mentally scattered. Daily meditations will help you to unscramble crossed wires in your brain. So this is interesting because my twin uh, wanted to meet me today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess to uh, talk, but that's not going to happen because, um, because I am like 200 odd miles away for a start. And uh, anyway, so 47 is uh, the number of what page this was on. So 47, we have a lot because 47 is also 11. 11 is today, <laughs> the 11th of February. So um, I guess we should read 47 because that is the one that wants to come through. But how wild is that? I told you, so much twin energy around at the moment. So many twin like everywhere it's twins 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 i'm like okay i get the message so it is about communicating your truth in the healings that i've done for people recently again not surprising that the grounding message came through because um it has been about red has been very dominant color in healings and red is all about root chakra so if you start to be questioning, if you're starting to um, question your connection, question 
just questioning everything or you know when you suddenly start thinking oh am I going mad is this all so silly am I wasting my time am I you know up with the fairies am I thinking am I just like you know wishing my life away for this connection when it's not going to happen all of those sorts of things and that is the time to get grounded because when you're grounded you have complete faith in your path because you know the work the universe is working with you and you know it will bring signs and messages to help you and if you're following all the signs and messages then it allays the fears and the doubts because you're grounded into your connection so um that has been a very strong message red has been very dominant so um and now blue communication so that's brilliant so what's this new moon going to be doing it's going to be helping to have clarity around communication throat chakra uh clearing healing um letting go of all fears about speaking up letting go about speaking up about who you truly are what you truly want what you truly stand for and I cannot believe that this came through. It is absolutely brilliant on the day of the new moon in Aquarius. Just, you know, the twin energy is strongly wanting to come through. That's all I can say. So um, let's have a look. 47 is the one. So I want you to know that I'm thinking of you every second of every day and I'm really trying my best to stay in my truth and stay in my heart to remember that we signed up for this but seriously sometimes it is so hard and I just go into these crazy moments and days with such excruciatingly painful doubts and fears and it makes me think can this really be true did we really sign up for this and why didn't anyone tell us it was going to be this hard and then I remember how our love can change everything and how I felt when I was with you, how I feel when I focus on you in my heart. And then I know that that is the reason why I agreed to do it, to experience the bliss and ecstasy of finding each other again and experiencing true love in all its beauty. That's why, that's what I need to remember. Love will win. <laughs> So love will win. Communication is key. Um, standing, you know, that's just like it says, you know, it's all about being able to speak your truth when the time is right for you. You know, everyone's different. But when it's the time is right, it's like not to be fearful of that. So a beautiful world full of creation, full of joy, full of wedded bliss matrimony in the truest sense of the word being bound to each other for true love for the rest of our lives, looking after one another, caring for each other, creation, creating a family together, creating a happy life, a fulfilling life, one that is filled with romance, love, peace, tranquility, love, love and more love, feeling at peace with our journey, sharing that love and radiating our love with everyone we meet, making our mark, our love mark on the world. Wow. Okay, so making our love mark on the world, communication is key, um, trusting in your connection is key, trusting in all those weird feelings that you just kind of think, what? Why is this person, when I was out walking today, I was like, it was so, it was just coming into my head about when I first met my twin and all of those feelings. And I was thinking, how can I possibly feel like this about someone that I've only just met? And how can it possibly feel just like so that I'd known him forever? And uh, all of those things. And that's the thing. What we have to remember is that, that it's so important to remember that all of those things are real. It's not figment of your imagination those things that happen to trigger a soul awareness and a soul awakening. So last one, 47, this is book three, and it is my darling, my love, my one true love that I've kept in my heart every day and every night since the dawn of creation. You have brought me back to life. You've literally given me the kiss of life, injected some insulin into my soul, gave me a kickstart to be a new me. I'm sorry it's been taking me a while to get to where I want to be. I have to be in the right place, the right headspace, so that when I do come to you, it's for good. I don't want to mess it up. 
I still need to remove my insecure boyish traits of fearing rejection. It's crazy because you make me feel like a boy again. It's thrilling. Oh, wow. And um, the healing that I did for somebody recently, uh, part of the healing on this, uh, I saw on a big billboard and um, it said something like something about a kiss. I can't remember what it was now. Um, but and my guidance is like I have to um, search for the song and uh, I didn't know it was a song but when I searched for it that sure enough there's a song with the words of what I saw on this big bil billboard in the healing and it was all about the kiss so there you go beautiful connection to all the healings to all the uh, messages everything is so intertwined and like I say the twin energy has been super strong and, uh, you know, this new, the fact that this card just came through now on the new moon tonight, new moon in Aquarius, but the card that was pulled was the twins. So all about coming into your truth, all about coming into clear communication and uh, knowing who you are, what you, and that was 11.11 on the clock. So there you go. I hope that helps. If you would like a healing, a reading, a channeling, um, or to get any of my books, all of these are available on Amazon. But in the meantime, um, I will just finish by uh, sharing a mantra, which is our share number 47 as well. Uh, and it is, I am totally loving being a love warrior, spreading love and light around the world. So, I am totally loving being a love warrior, spreading love and light around the world. There we go. I hope that helps. If I could be of any help for you, then please do contact. All details are in the description box against this video. But in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay bright, and stay switched on to the light. See ya. Bye.